Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please, please, please subscribe. If you are an existing subscriber, thank you for coming back. God bless you. Your case is going to be some more educational, something to just share how I did mine and how it can help you. The IELTS is an international English exam that you have to take if you plan to travel abroad. Let's say you want to study in countries like the UK, US, Australia, New Zealand, Canada. Most of the schools in this country would ask you for your IELTS exam and you have to pass. And it's common for Nigeria to actually not pass that exam. And basically i would say is overconfidence that kills us in this country because if you like oh i can speak english i can speak english so what is the big deal in writing an english exam but it is actually a big deal because it's an international exam and the way they said their questions is quite different is not even quite it's a lot different from the way we are used to if you did not beat if you do not practice well and go into the exam overconfident over, you are going to fail and you're going to fail woefully because you do not know how to answer these questions so i'm just going to be saying briefly about the exam as exam as i said earlier is an international english exam i'm going to put the full meaning here it's an international english exam and it's comprised of four skills listening writing reading and speaking that the listening reading and writing these three tests are going to be done on the same day in the same venue like the three hours straight no break nothing nothing and the speaking test can be seven days before your reading and rest or seven days after it depends on what happens during your time but most likely your speaking test is not on the same day with your other skills because mine wasn't on the same day first thing you need to know before taking this your test is do your research google is your friend whatever you need is already on google so just go to google type ielts exam know the type of test you're supposed to take because if i want to go study if i want to go study in canada for instance i'm supposed to take the academic test but if i'm supposed to if I want to do a work permit or relocate do my permanent residence, I'm not going to do academic, I'm going to do general training. So you have to know the type of test you are supposed to do. Don't just don't have to do your research. Know the location. There are lots of IELTS location around the country. Like there are lots. Lots. We have Lagos, we have Ibadan, we have Ogun, we have even in Accra here, there is there they actually have a set a, a center for IELTS exam here in Accra. So do your research, know the cost. When I did mine, it was about six, eight thousand. I don't think it has increased. I did mine last year. I don't think it has increased. I don't think so. So I think it's still 68,000 Naira. Like I said earlier, your speaking test is most likely seven days before your ex your other skills or seven days after. It's just a one-on-one -on -one interaction, one-on-one -on -one examination with your examiner. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes depends on how well <laughs> you are talking don't talk too much but be yourself it's very important to be yourself don't go there and go and be forming an accent that you don't have if you have an accent yes go with it but if you do not don't go there and have an accent because your supervisor is most likely in nigeria he doesn't also have an accent all they just want to look at is how well you can construct your vocabulary how well you can how well you can actually interact with somebody because if you are going to go abroad most people they actually speak because all these countries i mentioned as english speaking countries most of these people are actually speaking english so how can you understand them if we actually give you this visa that is why you're actually doing the exam so it is speak your niger language be yourself practice a lot you need to practice because this exam it's not like anyone you've done before especially if you have not traveled abroad you've not schooled abroad if you are it's not like work because I, I don't even think there's a space in, in, um, in WAEC that says you have to do listening tests. It's not like WAEC. It's, it's a lot different. So you have to practice. There are lots of apps online that you can download. I'll put some in my comment section if I can. Some apps that you can download. You can go online. There's this IELTSList.com. She's really good. Study. You need to study because these questions are different. They are, you're not used to it. 
But once you study and you're already familiar with it, then trust me, you're going to pass. That's just it. You're going to pass once you're familiar with these questions. Because if you're already studying like six, seven years of different, different types, you already have a knowledge. You do. So, yeah, and again, YouTube, watch YouTube videos. Especially when it comes to your speaking and your listening test, watch YouTube videos. See, and again, yes, don't cram. So, people who got a cram, hmm, oh God, it will fuck you up. Don't cram, because when you are cramming, your teacher knows you are cramming. For instance, they want to ask you a question. Let's say, luckily for you, you've practiced that question. They are now, you don't go with the flow, because as you are saying something, this child is asking you. So, if you have not experienced this, because sometimes, eh, they can ask you a question where you never experienced. Or they say, oh, have you ever traveled abroad? Oh, they don't even ask if you have ever traveled. They can say, so how was your last vacation abroad? Just come up with anything. Like, just, so it can shock you. So that I'm saying, don't cram. Just go with the flow. And the second test is going to be the listening test. The listening test is going to be for about 40 minutes is on the same day with the reading and the writing and it's just you're going to be listening to a recording they're going to give you like an headset or an earpiece it depends i had an headset when i did mine you know an headset it's you are in the all like you're in the all of like hundreds of thousands of people depending on how plenty you are in that in that um location so they're going to give you an it's a good play recording for you and you have questions in front of you so let me give you an example your question in front of you can be phone number box 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 address number one box they want you to fill in the gap so when you're listening to the recording they're like hello my name is sarah they are going to be speaking they're not going to speak normal nigerian english so you have to do lots of practice especially if you cannot really hear them you have to do lots of practice to say hello my name is sarah and i would like to make an appointment for this for that for that for that you can reach me on zero eight one six something like that you get so when they are like zero eight one six you already know that they didn't say phone number they said you can reach me on where are you, where else are you reaching them on you see phone number you already writing it writing it writing it so the recording is for about 30 minutes they'll give you 10 minutes to write that way so my advice for you is as you are hearing it, be writing it. Don't be thinking that they're going to play it again for you. I don't normally play it twice. But during my because my Niger we did. We had issue with the sound. So people could not hear. So people could so they had to repeat it. So I was lucky. But you might not be lucky. So my advice for you is immediately you are hearing it. Just be writing it down. Be writing it down continuously. Like, this test is just to know how if you can understand basically it's just if you can understand if you go if they give you admission and they give you visa and you want to go to buy something in a restaurant are you going to be able to communicate are you going to be able to hear what the person in front of you is saying are you not saying eh eh and when you are listening to this recording be calm don't be scared just be calm just be relaxed that person they talk to you somebody's talking to you so just be relaxed just be calm don't worry even if you miss out one or two you have basically maybe 40 questions or so or 30 questions 40 questions so if you miss three or you miss four don't be waiting hey i've missed one i've missed one move on move on the recording is playing it's not going to pause it's not going to pause for you you have no way to pause it so you have to keep going it waits for nobody so if you miss one continue continue one mark is not going to make you fail Two months not gonna make you feel the reading test. We have three sessions. You have three sessions and they are like other than the other. Other than the other. And this test is going to last for 16 minutes. Reading test is not C. Hmm. I don't know how many times I'm going to say this. It is not like why they're not going to give you a passage and I'll ask you questions. There are different different types of questions the questions can be in passages the questions the, the questions can be in a b c d e that's like a b c d e a can have one full like paragraphs of like of like 10 lines b same thing c same thing d same thing and the question they're asking you they want you to if they ask you a question they want you to bring it out from where did we say this is it in a 
or in B or in C. I don't know if I can explain this so much. You need to, as in, if you, you need to do practice questions a lot because you are not used to these questions. You are not. Writing is going to be in two sessions. Writing was my lowest, and I don't know why. Well, I don't really because I actually feel like I'm a good writer in my mind. But writing was actually my lowest. Maybe I'm not such a great writer. When I'm my lowest, I had a 6.5 in writing compared to my 8 that I had in that I had in my speaking. So you can see. Writing is going to be of two sessions. The first one is going to be easier than the second one, of course. The first one is usually in form of graphs, drawings. It can also be in form of table. It's not always in words for the session one. Trust me. It's either in graph, in table, in a pie chart, a diagram, something like that. They want you to see the information that you look at the information that you can see and just write it down. For the first session of the writing, they're going to ask you to write 150 words. It's important that you write. A little bit above 150 not lesser if you write lesser that's gonna affect you so write a little bit above 150 words count your words so the way they count words count your words maybe like write between like 160 to 170 not too long but 160 to 170 the second session is going to be more of writing but the question can be okay let me just let me give an example students in public universities are better than students in private universities do you agree or disagree so they want you to either agree or disagree so then you will now choose my best advice for you is that you should go with the word with that you have more points for instance you can agree that paris universities are better but you don't have points just go with, just go with the one that you have more points because nobody actually knows go with one that you can write more on and look at the ielts format if you're going to have four paragraphs your paragraph one can be your preamble, like a summary. Your paragraph, your second paragraph can be like your first point to agree. Your pa third paragraph can be like your second point to agree. And your last paragraph is like a conclusion. It's very important to have a conclusion. In one session, you write like, they will say you have like 250. So yeah, same thing, write like 260 to 270. Be on the safe. Don't write lesser. Do not write lesser. They are looking at that. Word count is very, very important. It is helpful. It is helpful to actually put examples in your in your points. You must make a point, and luckily you have an example. Put it. Put the example. Just put it. Just make sure you write. Write well. But if you know all those big big grammar, me I didn't. Me I don't really know big big grammar. Maybe that's why my writing was my lowest. But if you know those, big, this is where they want you to use those big big ones in writing. Use them. Make sure your spelling is correct. Spelling is very important. Do lots of practice. Do lot of practice. Do lots of practice. Use YouTube. Download apps. Go to websites. Do lots. Because, my dear, you need practice. It is not why. This is IELTS. It's an international exam. The way they ask their questions are totally different. So just be yourself. And trust me, you're going to come back come out strong so that'll be the end of my video today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel for more useful content for more entertaining content and i will see you guys in my next video bye